ready to amp up the impact of your next print project with the power of super hot fluorescent pink on the Xerox Iridesc production press? Direct mail, packaging, invitations, and posters. Hit them all with UV reactive Xerox fluorescent pink dry ink. Then stand back and watch images, graphics, and text pop off the page. Fluorescent pink wows on its own, but blending it with CMYK creates new, unique impact. So how does blending work? Let's add some fluorescent pink pizzazz to this CMYK candy wrapper. We'll start by opening a file that's been designed with specific CMYK mixes that will pop when blended with fluorescent pink. In this case, the file uses art created in Adobe Illustrator. We'll leave the CMYK art as is, but we do need to create a second version of the file to house the fluorescent pink objects. When these two files are blended together, we'll get a unique, vibrantly colored wrapper. To create that second file, we'll do a save as with our Illustrator art, adding an F pink to the file name so we'll know it's the fluorescent pink file. Now, we'll create our fluorescent pink spot color. In the Pantone Solid Coated Artbook, select Pantone Pink C. Next, in your swatches palette, double click the new swatch and switch to CMYK color mode. Name it F Pink and save it as a spot color. Now, fill the desired elements with our new F Pink color at 100% and flood the background with a 30% tint. We'll show you why in a moment. With your CMYK art open in InDesign, create a new layer called F Pink beneath the CMYK layer. Copy the CMYK art and paste in place. Now we'll relink that art to the new fluorescent pink Illustrator file. Next, be sure to multiply your CMYK art over your F Pink art. This passionate purple heart is created by blending 100% fluorescent pink with 40% cyan and 20% magenta. This orange was created by blending 100% fluorescent pink with 100% yellow and by adding a 30% fluorescent pink tint to this CMYK brown background, we've enhanced its appearance to a richer tone. Note that where there are knockouts in the CMYK file, we will get 100% UV reactive fluorescent pink spots. When it's time to print, export a PDF using these settings. Under Adobe PDF preset, select Press Quality. On the Compression tab, ensure all image types are set to Do Not Downsample. And under Output, there should be no color conversion, and the Profile Inclusion policy should be set to include all RGB and tagged sources. Then click Export. Be sure to let your print provider know you've designed for fluorescent pink. Need more inspiration? Check out the Iridesc CMYK Plus Design and File Prep Guide for more ideas, tips, and detailed instructions on how to use the Xerox Iridesc Production Press and all its specialty dry inks. Go beyond CMYK and help define what's next for print.